Hey everyone, Andy here, and today I'm checking out the brand new Aerie Seaforce Mini RF motor. Uh, this motor was uh, announced around NAB uh, and just recently got out in the wild. Uh, really excited about it though because it really streamlines the whole Aerie wireless ecosystem uh, and, and, and also allows it to work with a wide variety of cameras just that much easier. So uh, what is it? What's the difference? Well, the RF motor, as you can see, is a, uh, well, a motor, right? It has a nice white radio antenna on there. What that's doing, uh, in addition to being a motor, is it's combining the features that you found in this little box, the AMC, which is a AMC1, which is an active motor controller box, uh, with the motor itself. And it's also taking features found in the UMC from Aerie, as well, like lens mapping. So it really can become the heart of the full Aerie wireless ecosystem right there in a small motor. So fantastic. Um, I have it hooked up right now to the Sony Venice. It has a, on one side a CAM bus port. Uh, which is basically taking the cam taking power and camera con sending camera control back with this little cable. Uh, the, the Venice has a three pin Fisher RS port on the front, so I can plug it in there. That's what that cable is. But I also have other cables out there in the world, including uh, uh, simple power cables like this, the PTAP cable, uh, an ENG lens cable. So if things like the Very Cam from Panasonic have this plug, as well as some Sony cameras and Canon cameras uh, like the 700. I have a uh, four pin Hiroshi, which would work with the F55, F5 from Sony. I have a, a Link connector, which is great. I can work with the so uh, Sony FS line, Canon, Blackmagic, uh, and of course a red cable as well. So, wide variety there. Uh, and I can even work with Alexa cameras to control them the same way. Now, uh, the, the, mini, the, the Alexa Mini has a lot of the features built in, uh, but working with the traditional Alexas, I can plug in this motor as well. So, uh, again, a wide variety of cameras, one little motor. I have it all hooked up right now to daisy chain to these other motors and in the hand grips, and it's all being driven right there. So fantastic. Uh, as I was saying before, uh, you can control uh, the, this unit with a uh, WCU4, which is the Airy Wireless Control unit, WCU. Uh, and this guy can also create lens mappings and send them over. Uh, into the motor. So uh, I'll show you this really quickly because we, I, I think I did a video before and we didn't show you how to do that because it was a new feature. Basically going into the menu, I can choose my, uh, my lens data menu here. And then when I go into lens programming area, I can actually program my lens. I've already done this and made a lens file, which I've shown you before in another video. Uh, then I go to lens file transfer here, transfer find my lens file, there it is, select it, and hit the send button, and it sends it right over. Once that lens file is created and sent to the, uh, uh, to the motor, uh, it, uh, the, the whole system knows where it is in space, and it actually will feed back here all my lens information, focus, iris, zoom positions. So I don't need to mark anything, it's just right on the uh, unit, which is uh, great. And also with the master grips, it'll actually communicate positioning as well. So on the top of the master grips, it says where it is, which again, fantastic. So uh, that's all with the WCU. I can also pair it with a single channel unit, SXU, if I can have uh, just, I can just have it working with one, just this little guy, I can pair it to the RF motor by itself or one channel, or I can combine the two together and have one operator doing one axis and doing two here, et cetera, or I can go crazy and have an operator working on the master grip and one on iris and one on zoom, you know, basically combine all these together to uh, allow for function, again, all driven from that uh, single motor. So uh, I, I love the setup that we have here for this. I just wanted to show it to you. Uh, there's only two menu buttons on there, just so you know. One just sets the uh, radio channel that you match. I'm just on channel two right now. Uh, and the other one uh, sets the focus iris and zoom position. So I, I'm on iris, I put it to iris, that's it. No more menus to choose. Uh, so uh, I, again, I really like it. It's streamlined, it's simple, works really well here on the Venice, would work on a variety of cameras uh, and works with all the other accessories. So uh, this is a popular product for us right now. Uh, our rental also rents it very, very much and it's actually gonna uh, ship out here in a little bit, so I have to give back to them. Um, this is their kit, and we rent it out very often. So I'll get back to rental, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.